Hello friends, this is a quick video about Vagrant for beginners. Vagrant is a product by HashiCorp and you can use Vagrant to create and manage virtual machines easily. So in the background, Vagrant actually uses virtualization softwares like VMware or VirtualBox and there are some other providers as well. So in this video, we will install Vagrant and create our first virtual machine using Vagrant. So I'm installing Vagrant on my Ubuntu 16 desktop. I'll just pause the video till this is completed. So Vagrant is now installed. Now we will also need the virtualization software. So in this video, I'll be using VirtualBox as the provider. So I will install VirtualBox as well. I'll pause the video till this is installed. So now the virtual box is installed and our Vagrant installation is completed. Now we will go ahead and create the virtual machines. So for this first create a directory. You can name it anything that you want. CD to the directory. Now you can create, there is no need to actually install the virtual machine from scratch. You can use base images which are publicly available. So if you go to atlas.hashicorp.com, you will see a, a number of uh, publicly available boxes or images uh, that you can use. So I'm going to click on this one which is Ubuntu Server 14.04. So here you can see this is the command vagrant init the username and the box name and then vagrant up and the provider is virtual box. So I am just going to take this copy this command and run it here. So basically what init does it, it initializes this particular directory as your root directory and it will be used. Uh, for storing the configuration file, which is the vagrant file, uh, which is a configuration file for your virtual machine. So here it says a vagrant file has been placed in this directory and it is importing the base box, the one that we selected. It, it might take uh, around 10 minutes to download the box. So I'm just going to pause the video here. So now it says that the machine is booted and ready. So next what we need to do is just run Vagrant SSH. And here we go, we have logged in to the Vagrant machine. So this is the one that we installed, Ubuntu 14. So this was how quick Vagrant is. You can create your virtual machines within 10 minutes and use them as per your requirement. I will log out from this VM now. This is the Vagrant file that was downloaded when we ran a Vagrant init command. And this has the configuration details. So this is the config vm.box parameter uh, and th this is the parameter that we had supplied so trusty64 was installed. To stop this uh, vm you just need to mention vagrant halt command and this will uh, stop the vm it will shut it down. So next time you want to uh, bring it up just cd to the pr particular project folder or the folder that you created and just type vagrant up it will bring it up 
and if you just if you have finished your testing and you just want to uh, delete this particular vm just type vagrant destroy it will delete it and uh, however it will keep the downloaded box image as it is so if you completely want to remove the box image as well just type vagrant box remove there are a lot more features available with vagrant where you can automate the bootstrap uh, script for your vm as well for all these uh, f uh, features and details related to vagrant you can check the vagrantup.com website it will give you further details thanks for watching this video and do subscribe for more such uh, upcoming videos thank you